Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a new published article information in your Google Scholar. So in the previous videos, I have shown how to create a Google Scholar profile. So have a look at that if you haven't yet. So now let's say this is my Google Scholar profile and Pretty much this is what you can see that uh, that's how my work looks like and normally I only update published journal articles in my Google Scholar there are a couple of con conference papers only two of them okay these are just here to show what I'm working on but as soon as these papers will be published then I will merge them with the published version in the journal okay but now so here you see I have a recent publication and I have not updated it. So it's been three, four days since the publication is out. And now Google is telling me to update my articles. So if I click on update, so what do I see? So I see that this is the article actually. Uh, young people's perceived service quality and environmental performance of hybrid electric bus services. And it is published in Journal of Travel Behavior and Society, okay. And this is not really an article. This is just the information of this article. Okay, so this is the reason why I don't turn on automatic updates in my Google Scholar. Although they say it is recommended, but my recommendation is that never do automatic updates in Google Scholar. So here you see, I have said, don't update it automatically. I will be adding each of my publications manually. And I do that within one week of a publication so that I don't have to remember doing it later and I, so that I don't forget also, you know, updating one of my articles. So I just do it within one week of the publication as soon as I get a publication. So first of all, I will say don't add to this one, of course. Okay. My settings. Okay. This is right. Uh, don't update my profile automatically. And now one thing I can do is I can just click to add and it will add in my Google Scholar. Okay, so that's something I could do. And another way is that I could add it manually. Okay, so let me first show you how could I add it manually because it can happen that you are not going to have this notification from Google. So normally it takes like few days, you know, few days, sometimes it can take a month or so for Google to automatically remind you to update it. So what we want is that we actually want to update it as soon as it is there and to update a paper in your publication list in Google Scholar, you will go here. So if you just click here, you see we have a few options. So article, add article groups, not really, add article, add article manually. So we have these three options, right? And then we have the configure article update. So if I click here, what happens? So it says add article groups, okay? And 15 in my profile, so these are actually in my groups, okay? I don't know why they are showing that I don't have them. So, and, and if I click here, there are some articles like this one, this ones, these are actually not really my publications or there are some conference paper or there are some predatory journal publication, which I did like in the very early days. So I don't want to have them in my, in my profile and I don't even mention them as my publication. So I don't want them, right? So that's why I'm not going to use this one. Okay. And then add articles here. So here you see, we again have the more or less the same options. Okay. Yeah. The ones that I have not updated. Okay. What I want to update is only this one, this article, young people's perceived. This is my latest publication. So to do that, what I will do, I will actually go just here and then I will go to add article manually. Okay. Which I always do like this and then I will go to the journal article link so it is journal of travel behavior and society travel behavior and society and I go there so it's uh, it should be here yeah here it's actually open access so you can read the article freely you don't read a subscription. Also, another interesting thing is for this paper, we also have the data. We publish the data as well here. 
and there are potentials to write more papers using the data okay so have a look in the data if you are interested you can replicate the results or if you want to write some papers using the data you can contact me but anyway so i'm going here and i'll copy the name of the article and then put it here okay and authors so it's me Munim. so first we put our last name and then comma and our first names it, it could be one name or it could be two three names how you want to write your name and then we will use this one semicolon and then the next author's name first comes the last name of the next author so it's Noor comma Tehzeeb so the first name of the author the publication date it is 2020 okay and the journal so we have the journal name here travel behavior and society so I can I will actually try to copy it from here let's see if it works Control C and then I paste it here I don't really need all this information so I have travel via event society so the volume information is 20 I will copy it and paste it here volume 20 and then I will remove these parts and for pages I will copy it and I will paste it here pages okay so for this journal actually they don't have a issue some journals will have a issue so in this journal they indicate the issue by july by month okay so the issue is actually july but i don't have to write it there and also i would like to mention the publisher that is elsevier okay so that's how actually we add a new article in google scholar if it was a conference you will go here if it was a book chapter here if it was a book here for thesis here patent court case so there are even some other options but I'm not going there actually I, I it's a journal article so I will just I put the relevant information and then I'll click OK and then you will see this article is updated in my profile so here it is travel behavior young people's perceived service quality and environmental performance of hybrid electric bus service if I click on this it is now updated okay and we can just go to the link and read the paper Thank you for watching this video and also if you are already in my Google Scholar profile just hit the following button so that you can actually follow all my articles. So if you click here you will see that what do you want to follow. So for my profile I want to follow my citations but for you it would be interesting I think to follow my new articles. So when I have a new article then you can just have a look and then you put your email address and done. So whenever I will publish a new article it will get a notification.